Hello beautiful dreamers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to talk about axolotls. Now I do not have axolotls right at the moment but I had them about uh, two years ago, three years ago maybe. And I'm going to show you some old footage of them from when I first got my first axolotl in the mail. She was like this big and actually got her a day late than what was expected and I was so scared she was going to be in the box. So when I opened it I was like please be mine. And uh, he was fine. It's a he. I always called it a she, but it turned out to be a he. <laughs> and I loved Max Waddles so much. I missed them a lot. I had two of them. I actually got a second one, and was the male also. And I'm going to show you some old footage again of when I first got them and how I got them to eat uh, blood worms from a feeding jar and then eventually, you know, started feeding them earthworms. So what is an axolotl? That is one crazy looking fish you got there. Why does that fish have legs and why does it have little neener 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 all over its little head? <laughs> okay, so an axolotl is not a fish. It's a fully aquatic salamander. It's not something you can, you know, just play with and take out of the water. Though, in some of my video clips, I am actually holding an axolotl inside the water on my hand and touching it because Sometimes I like to check for you know body lumps and do a little examination to make sure everything was healthy, the growing was fine, and I would also measure it also, like use my hand as measuring. So axolotls, they never actually grow up. They do reach uh, sexual maturity, but they never actually, you know, meta what's that word? Metamorphosis? They never do that. <laughs> I can't think of the uh, word right now or if that's even the word. <laughs> Now, axolotls are an endangered species. They come from Mexico, and only Mexico, and they're almost extinct in the wild. But in captivity, they're a little more uh, popular. Nowadays, they're a lot popular. And it also helps them thrive in numbers because people are breeding them, and they do well in captivity. So if they weren't in captivity breeding, they'd be almost completely gone in the wild. All right, so. I'm going to show you the clips and that's, I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> Basic axolotl, basic axolotl care is one for a 10 gallon, two 20 gallons. And they do have certain needs. Uh, they need to have their water temperature between 64 degrees and 68. I always get it at 64 degrees and you can do this multiple ways. They do sell cooling fans that you put on the top and it blows cool air into the water. They also have um, chillers, aquarium chillers, which are expensive. <laughs> And then there's also the method of getting frozen ice bottles, like two liter soda bottles, freeze them in the freezer, have a couple, and then rotate them. And that's what I would do, and it was great. <laughs> and that's a poor man's way. <laughs> so that's what I did, which was uh, suggested to me on the Axolotl forum that I would go to. I'll put the link to that forum too, and the website where I got my Axolotls in the mail. All right, so uh, you have your tank and you decorate it. I, some people do bare bottoms, uh, some do sand. I did bare bottom in the beginning, and then I switched to sand. I didn't like it, and then I moved on to slate tiles, which is perfectly fine. 
Slate Tiles is similar to what Falcor has here in his tank, his um, cage, and that's what I used for my 20 gallon. You can also have um, Lucky Bamboo. They tolerate the colder temperatures. A lot of plants do not tolerate the colder temperatures, but the bamboo did great. It actually thrived. They grew so huge, like that big, they grew. Just as long as you don't completely submerge them or they'll die. So make sure the um, leaf part is sticking out of the water. All right, so feeding your axolotl. They eat uh, bloodworms, they thrive on bloodworms. That's the beginner food I used. There's a different variety of worms you could use. As they got older, I fed my uh, Canadian night crawlers and they loved it. When they're smaller, you just chop up the worm. It's disgusting and gross and you can see. And ugh, I, don't, I don't miss those days. <laughs> and then as it got older, I started eating half a worm and then eventually a full worm, and they would eat that every other day. Yours ate sand again. Spit that sand out. I don't know why it keeps biting the sand. I is confused.
so what happened to my axolotls? I had them for um, a little over a year and I eventually had to rehome mine because I was having one heck of a problem with ammonia levels. Now I went to the forum I usually went to every day and people were helping me trying to figure out what the problem was and we could not figure it out. Uh, they told me to take things out slowly to see if anything was possibly leaching or what was happening. So eventually I eliminated one thing at a time from the aquarium and the ammonia was still high and we just couldn't figure it out. It shouldn't have been, you know, at dangerous levels like that. And, um, excuse me. It shouldn't have been at dangerous levels for a tank that was mature and fully cycled. It'll, it'll always remain a mystery as to what happened, but because I had love for them, so because I love these little critters so much, I had to rehome them, and I gave them to a rescue that um, rehomed them and gave me an update and that they were doing really good and they lived with other axolotls also. So it was sad. I miss them every day. But you know, you do, you let loved ones go sometimes whether you like it or not. You just do the best for the things you love. Bye baby, mommy loves you. So that is it for this video. I actually recorded an ending, but when I uploaded the footage to edit, the ending was missing. <laughs> so enjoy some photos of my axolotls. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that fish are friends and not food.